we had Cal Penn, who you know, yeah. on on the show recently, and um, loved his new book, which you're you're all so over. Did I. So did I. Yeah. yeah, it was. It's a lovely memoir. Um, it's funny. so funny. Yeah. Yeah. Can I read one little part that you're in and get your <laughs> sure? Your <reaction laughs> yeah, okay. It? Yeah. Because <laughs> it's a. Sh- it's a. Frankly, it's a shocking story. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're on the you're on the set of Harold and Kumar, right? Yeah, yeah. And um, much of it takes place with, you know, the two of you in a car. You became good friends right away. Um, but once we were, this is from Cal's book, once we were sitting in the car with our seatbelts on while the camera guys adjusted something technical, I'm cold, John said. Can I roll these windows up until you guys are ready to shoot? After a minute with the windows rolled up, he said he started to feel stuffy. I'm going to step out, he said. He opened his door and in sudden rapid succession, removed the keys from the ignition, loudly farted, jumped out, hit the power locks and slammed the door, leaving me seat belted inside his airtight fart machine with no way out. I fucking love that guy. <laughs> <laughs> Impressed, everyone? Impressed? (laughs) (laughs) That that was the energy of a young man right there. (laughs) But first of all, the the choreography is what really impressed me with that little early martial arts. The premeditation right there. <laughs> that's not that's not manslaughter. That's first degree. <laughs> <laughs> what is your what was your I mean, we've, uh, you know, he spends a lot of time in his book remembering that time. But what was your when you think back on Harold and Kumar, because it was such a um, kind of a watershed right. moment for, you know, the industry, I assume for you personally. But what do you what do you, what's the first thing that you kind of take away or remember from that? Well, I the first thing I thought of was <laughs> I just thought this is a this is a hoax and uh, we're gonna sh- <laughs> it'll be hard for your younger listeners to remember that uh, the idea of a, a motion picture starring uh, an Asian guy and an Indian guy were, was um, ridiculous uh, and to us uh, most of all probably or impossible sounding so. Um, I had a sneaking suspicion that we were going <laughs> to read the address on the call sheet, show up, and there were going to be organ harvesters there. <laughs> and, uh, wow. <laughs> it that's, was just going to turn dark. <laughs> <laughs> this can't be real. Um, <laughs> so um, I kind of always felt like... <laughs> this isn't really going to come out, is it? And uh, (laughs) this isn't really a movie. And uh, uh, the other thing I'll say is it was in another era. We we bombed at the box office, but it was DVDs that saved us. So to that end, I'll say, you know, we we, uh, were optimistic. We did this uh, time-honored tradition of renting a limousine and going to various theaters in Los Angeles to soak in, um, soak in all the love from the live audiences and, one after the other, we just went to one empty box of a theater after another, oh, <laughs> and so it was sad. it was the God. worst. And I've never I've never done that since. Uh, I learned my lesson. You wait and see. Wait wow. till week two. Wait till week two. <laughs> well, and I'll even- be doing that for uh, this Netflix show by going to uh, people's homes and peering into looking the- through the should. windows. Yeah, yeah. Uh, people would be thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you could bank on a Star Trek screening probably showing up on a Friday night, you know. That's yeah. that's yeah. The, even then, I'm 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 a superstitious man now. <laughs> I wasn't then, but I am now. <laughs> 